Hey guys, super little video wasn't planned. I'm gonna shoot the XDE for the first time, nine millimeter Springfield. Obviously my Hellcat videos got thousands upon thousands of views. Thank you everybody. Just, this is not a professionally done one. This is just, I'm deciding to shoot it because I saw it in the uh, rental kit. Now, um, at the range, uh, it seems gunk gunked up. It's a rental. The double action doesn't seem as smooth uh, as it should be. Empty gun. It's not quite as smooth. It seems to be gunking up a bit there compared to when I... So this is a DASA. That's safe. That's fire. That's decock. You could carry it cocked and locked if you really want to do. I don't know about that uh, on this pistol, but um, there it is. Now the DA does not feel as good as when I used to... Uh, try it out without actually firing it uh, here. So now I think it's gunked up because it's dirty, uh, but we'll see how it does. Okay, so let me pause there and load it up. All right, one-handed while filming. Let's see how I can do this. One-handed first shot DA. All right, first shot was a little left. Decock go again. Again, I'm doing one-handed, guys. It's just again to give my impression. Fits pretty good in my hand. Uh, the 45 version fits much better in my hand, but I have extra large hands. Uh, so I'm throwing some shots left. It's hard to do this while filming. Let's try a little can't essay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hot brass on the eyebrow. Awesome. Okay, guys, shooting the XDE for the first time. We've only got about 10, 15 rounds through it so far, about 15 rounds through it so far. Uh, working from a generic Phalanx holster. Not really designed for it, but it seems to be working. I've got to make sure I decock before reholstering, hopefully, each time. And uh, just working on the two shot going DA to SA, DA to SA. It's actually. Uh, doing pretty good. The first couple shots were filming at the same time one-handed. That were the last. Uh, but now that I'm hammering uh, uh, pairs uh, at five yards, it's not bad. Here I go. Cook. Here I go. Fiber optics nice and it's pretty centered. I think I'm getting pretty centered hits. He cocked, reholstering. And here I uh, go. So yeah, those are very, uh, very lined up. It looks like. One more. Yeah, uh, go. And that time I got a bad grip, and the gun was pointed a little left, so I was a little bit slower to the first shot. I'll pause it right there. XD reholstered with nine rounds now. I'll do three on the first target, three on the bad guy to the left at seven yards. Uh, yeah, you're picking it up. Okay, ready? Here we go. XDE, XDE for the first time. I did uh, triple tap, all centered. These are very thin targets at five yards. And that next bad guy at seven yards to the left, two were A zone. And uh, third, still pretty good, but just a tad bit low. So for first time with the pistol, actually, it's pretty linear. I'm shooting pretty linear. That's good. Uh, if that's naturally how it goes, I'm basically not using the rears at all. I'm just picking up the front red fiber, which is, you know, kind of how it was designed. So I'll do some more. Okay, XDE. And now I'm not an appendix carrier, but I'm going to do appendix because I just got a new Remora holster for my offhand, for my offside. Uh, I decocked it already. I should be loaded to go. I'm going to very carefully with my hand on the thumb slowly holster in this remora with a clip I have on. I don't know if you can see it right there. The remora with a clip right on. So I'm going to slowly do that. Uh, and I got, uh, I'll do three and three. I've got six rounds left. I'll do three and three. All right, thumb on the back of the hammer. Slowly reholstering. This is why DASA is good as long as you remember to decock. Or double action only, even better than a striker. 
Uh, four appendix, um, or at least the first getting used to appendix anyway, especially for a guy with a bit of a dad bod, you know, stomach like me. So, all right, just get it set. I'm left hand and go. Is he cocking? My right hand can do it. My left hand, I'm having difficulty. I don't quite have the thumb dexterity as my left for this pistol at least. Um, I think those shots are pretty bad. One more time. Let's go. And I'm all over the place left-handed with this gun. Right-handed, I was very centered. Left-handed, uh, not so good. Um, really bad, actually. Um, but, but all the stuff right-handed from the holster on my hip, I was uh, punching it all very center. So I got some bad hits. Overall, pretty decent gun. Might want to pick one up in 45 at some point. It actually fits my hand uh, pretty, pretty darn good. This one is a rental, and again, it was a little beat up. The DA pull, I think, is, is dirty. I think it's got all kinds of dirt in there. and It's slowing the DA pull down a bit. But, you know, not a bad pistol. Um, I don't know if I'll edit these little clips together. I didn't plan on doing this thing today. Could decock it and carry decocked safety off. That's how I would carry it. You could actually carry it cocked and locked if you really wanted to. And drop the hand. To there but you might decock an accident it's not a very big safety which is both good and bad depending on how you carry it but there's single action pull there's double action pull like i said it seems pretty dirty it seemed really smooth uh handling this before they were put to rentals so good sight picture i'm just kind of doing that at five yards like natural slide focus point shooting picking up the red fiber optic pretty well. Certainly single action wasn't destabling, destabilizing as much. Single action is pretty good. Go creep, take up. Well, the DA was pretty smooth on this. It, you know, now that it's a rental, it's not. But overall, pretty decent pistol. Too bad it's a little low on capacity. I would like both the 45 and the 9mm versions to have magazines that had one or two more rounds in them as an option. Cheers.